You know security is hard, so let's assume We're probably gonna get pwned by noon But if we all start to get the basics right We might not fully get pwned until Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the 7-Minute Security Podcast and to uh, kind of an intro to Docker for pen testers. My name is Brian Johnson, and uh, today I want to give you two examples of two cool things that uh, you can do with Docker uh, when looking at it from a uh, pen testing angle. Uh, first thing I want to show you is how to get a container called RainMap set up. And RainMap is a cool GUI front end that you can slap on top of your nmap scans that you conduct. Um, but I do want to back up just a minute and kind of show you things from the top because uh, some of you are giving me feedback saying, hey, I can't even get SSH going on my box and, and what are you doing as like prerequisites to get some of these things uh, installed. So uh, let's first on my bare bones Linux host here, let's do an apt-get update and an apt-get dist upgrade to get all the latest updates and tools pulled down. And then once I do that, uh, as you'll see here on my uh, terminal window, I cannot SSH into my juice box. Connection refused on port 22. So I'm going to apt-get install open SSH server. And once that is installed, you'll see that I can now SSH into the box. And now we can sort of make that our primary console going forward. Okay, from here, it is just as easy as doing an apt-get install docker.io to get docker installed. And then we're ready to install the RainMap container, which I will uh, include instructions for in the show notes here, but it's pretty simple. Just docker space pull space container name. And then we got a pretty easy one-liner here to actually get it up and running. Now this particular container is going to ask you some startup questions because RainMap is set to do a scan and then email you the results by default. So um, this is an internal container, so I'm just going to feed it the internal IP address and for now I'm just going to put in bogus values for everything else. Um, I'll do a real example in a minute, but I just want to show you kind of what this looks like when it gets up and running. Um, so we'll establish a username and password to log into the GUI with once it stood up. And then provide it a real email address that you'll want to receive scan results to. And there we go. It's up and running on port 8080. So over at our web browser, if we fire that up, you might be greeted with kind of an ugly looking screen. And this sort of looks like there was a failure to communicate or some sort of install error. Uh, it might have been a uh, pebcac on my part, but what I found is that if I just add slash console, uh, this will get us to the true console, where we can now log in with the username and password be established during the container setup. And kapow, here we are. We can set up nmap profiles, nmap scan configurations, new users, new groups, uh, but I'm going to go over to View Site because that's where I spend most of my time. Once you're in there, it's a pretty straightforward menu. You just type in the targets you want to attack and uh, pick a profile and punch in your email address. And what I really love is that, is that they've got all these great pre-configured profiles on the right side that you can just kind of read through and figure out, okay, well, what you know, which one makes the most sense for you know this particular test or pen test. Really, really awesome stuff. So I'm happy with my options. I'm just going to hit scan and you'll see at the top there it says my scan has been added to the queue. And now if I go back to my terminal window, you'll see that that scan has kicked off. You also might have noticed that right now the way it's set up, uh, if I exit this SSH window, I am going to shut down the RainMap server. So I want to show you another way to run this so that you can can completely shut down or exit your SSH connection without taking RainMap down with you. So I'm just going to issue a control C to kill the server for now. And then what I'm going to do is use the screen command to essentially 
fire up a terminal within a terminal. So I'm going to do screen space tac capital R and then a name. I called mine rain map screen. You can call it whatever you want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch rain map one more time because I am now terminal within a terminal. And this time I'm actually going to go through the wizard with proper IPs and mail server names and all that kind of stuff so that at the end of it you can see what the emailed results look like. Okay, so my rain map server is up and running again, and this time I'm going to do a control A and then a D, which is going to disconnect my screen session, but not squash the server running inside of it, if that makes sense. So now I can do a screen space tac ls, and there's my rain map screen, and then I can do a screen space tac capital R rain map screen to connect to it again, and there it is. It's up and healthy and completely 100% happy. Okay, now I'm just going to blaze through setting up another scan real quick. I'm going to let it complete and then I want to show you what the email output looks like because it's it's really slick. You basically get a summary saying here's my scan right there and I can view it online by tapping that link so I'm going to do that. It's going to take me to my rain map server and now I can kind of comb through the results and you know review them, PDF them up, whatever I want to do. And uh, what's also nice is that within the email, there are links to the raw formats as well, so that if I want to download some, something uh, in direct, you know, dot nmap format, uh, I can do that. It's like super, super cool stuff, right? Okay, let's kind of put that container aside for a minute. I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to get the OWASP juice shop. And just like the rain map, this one is very simple to set up. Just a docker pull command and then the one-liner to get it up and running. And just for grins we can issue a netstat command to see that both our juice shop and our rain map containers are kicking. And if we peek in a web browser, BAM! There we go. Juice shop is up and ready to be hacked. So now is a perfect opportunity to fire up our VMware Fusion or VirtualBox or uh, whatever your preference is and uh, get our burp set up as a proxy and start pounding away at this thing. All right, well, that's what I wanted to show you today. And I think what I might do, since there seems to be some interest, is, you know, now that we've sort of laid this foundation for getting a pen test lab set up and we can easily, you know, bring up apps like the Juice Shop, why don't we spend some time digging into burp getting it all set up you know talk about some of the additional modules you can tack on to it to make your pen tests more uh, effective and efficient and let's start exploring some of the juice shops vulnerabilities and see what kind of fun we can have uh, tearing it up so if that would be interesting to you uh, please let me know my contact information would follow i'd love to get an email from you or a tweet just to know that hey yeah this is good or you know I have a different idea. Do this. Uh, that, that really helps me get ideas on what to cover on the show, and uh, I appreciate your support as always. Oh, and if, uh, if you want to talk to me live, I've been having a lot of fun hanging out in uh, Freenode on IRC. I uh, tend to plop myself in the 7MS channel as well as the Volnhub channel, and uh, there's, really, uh, there's a lot of funny and smart folks hanging out there. So uh, join us. We'd love to chat with you. Have a great day and a blessed week, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. You've been watching or listening to an episode of 7 Minute Security, a weekly podcast focusing on IT and information security topics, such as penetration testing, network configuration, virtualization, and career advice. For more information, visit www.7ms.us.